All right, guys, this is Team Epic Journey, New Coaches Team Call, and it is May 31st, the last day of the month, so hopefully you guys were able to rally the troops, get as many people as you possibly can for Success Club for the month of May, um, and then now your next focus is once to, um, tonight at midnight is closed out. You want to gear up into June. June is going to be your focus. Now, with that said, I want to go around the table here tonight. And what I want to do is I love the end of the month. Number one, for a couple of reasons. One, you get to reflect on your past month. You get to ask yourself and go back and say, okay, did I did I push hard enough for my goals, for my family, and for my why? Or am I still in progress? So there's not anything that's good or bad or right or wrong. It's a simple check-in system that I really love to use for myself to make sure I'm on track with my goals. Um, one thing that's really important, you guys, and I don't know if you've done this or not, and I'm going to encourage you guys to do this, is how many of you guys know why you get up every day and coach? Like how many, like, the soul why, like you know why you get up and you know why you're going to be a successful coach. And if you do know why, would you be willing to share your why tonight with us? Cassandra, I love that tattoo. Thank you. It's pretty. <laughs> and you look beautiful. Thanks. All right, Sydney, why don't you start off and then we'll do Sydney and then I'll go last. Okay. Um, um, first thing that came to mind was because it makes me feel good. Yeah. I love keeps that. Me from depression, helps you with depression, helps with my anxiety. So it makes me feel good. I love that. Now, from now, from when you feel good, what is it that drives you to help other people? What is your uh, why I'm for mm -hmm, same th same thing? Well, I I hear a lot of the time. Well. I'm depressed and I have anxiety. Don't come at me with the whole, oh, get up and exercise thing and that's going to fix it. No, it doesn't fix it. But I get mad when I hear that because it absolutely does help. Right. And if you haven't tried it, you shouldn't shut it down. So that's ne my whole thing on that. Never. I'm sorry. I'm just making my settings are bad here. Um, absolutely not. And I'm going to tell you guys, there is a big shift happening right now. Um, and what's going to happen is this, and I'm going to be very brutally honest what's happening in my business right now. I have a lot of people canceling. I have a lot of people canceling. Mm. Number one reason is they can't afford it all of a sudden. Okay. Yeah. Now I will say this and I say this because I stand true to why I believe in Shakeology. Now here's the thing. If people want to leave, you can't stop them. You cannot right. stop them. And here's the other thing too. That's, this might be part of their journey. And sometimes from a business perspective, it kind of like, oh, you're like, dude, I'm trying to build this amazing team and everyone's leaving. Like they're not even giving it a chance, right? But you have to remember that sometimes you're going to get all these people and then they're going to leave. Some people will leave in a week. Some people will leave in a month. Some people will leave in a year, six months or whatever. But I will tell you that at the end of the day, they have to fall in love with it. But it is our job to show them why it's amazing. So I am still a new leader, right? I'm still, I don't really know how to lead a team. I'm doing the very best that I possibly can. And me and Danielle are coming up with some PDF files to do more of a checklist with our clients. You know, I want to make sure that our clients, we want to see how they feel in seven days. You have to keep them on track and you have to ask yourself, what kind of a businesswoman am I? What, what is my business? How am I running it? Who am I? What do I want my, like when I get my hair, when I do hair for people at the salon, I know they're a walking advertisement for me, right? I want people to come to me. I want people to know that they can get amazing hair. So I have to make sure I'm giving that person the results they need when they sit into my chair, right? Mm -hmm. I have to make sure that when people come to me for their wellness journey, they're going to get the best results possible. And I don't care what anybody says. If people are going to ask you questions like, well, I want to do Beach Body on Demand, but I don't want to do Shakeology because it's too expensive. You always need to use the feel 
felt found technique. If you don't write that down, write it down now. Feel felt found. Oh my gosh, Cassandra, I totally understand how you feel. I remember when I was a new mom of, with Kinsey, she was three months old. And I always tell a true story. You know, I can remember being that mom. I had two kids, two new daycare bills, a mortgage, and I wasn't working. So I didn't have an income. And my husband was carrying all of our weight. And I remember I wanted to throw on another monthly bill to our mess. And I wasn't even going back to work for another three more months. Mm -hmm. And I totally <laughs> understand how you feel. But as soon as I was, I talked to my husband and put my big, big girl panties on and said, I really want to do this. And I want you to support me. He worked overtime for me so I could get those first three months down until I could bring in my money and I didn't feel so guilty. But what I found was that I actually started to be a better mom because in the first seven days, I had more energy. And being a mama too with a three month old and a kindergartner and no sleep mom over here, I needed that. So it was already showing this awesome investment. So like you, you, you're not, we were talking about this tonight, me and Amanda. Do not try to sell this. That's the biggest problem coaches have. And I have. We try to sell this. Like, you might sit there and listen to somebody and go, all right, hurry up, wrap it up. We want to get a challenge back. Let's go. I, want, I need a success club too. Let, let's go. Come on. Let's go. Get on. Let's get on. You're going to have a great experience. It's going to be awesome. I got you. But you don't want that. Like, what is your legacy as a coach? You have to think about that, right? And all the people that are going to come into your coaching career and leave your coaching career, they're, they're there for a reason, a season. So don't get discouraged. But use that as your fuel to rock your group, rock your business, right? So at the end of every month, and we're going to get back to what we were trying to get on the call for, at the beginning of every, or the end of every month, you need to think about June right? And as you're mapping out things, you got to think about June. Okay. So, and you also have to think about summer. You have to think about what are people doing right now? They're probably saving money for their beach house or their summer vacation or their weekend getaway. And I'm going to tell you what's going to be a really hard month. And this is where you have to dig deep now in your posting and everything you do about for you is August. Notorious hardest month to hit success club because everybody has already spent their summer money and they're all buying their back to school items. So you have to think strategically. So here's what I do when I post. Everybody's already started on their journeys, right? You have to be talking to the person before you had Shakeology in your hands. Do you know who that person is? It's pretty cool to go back, right? So when you're doing your posting, you guys, you have to talk to your old self. That's who you need to talk to. Because as you talk to that kind of a person, that's who needs you. Right? So share that. And you do not have to wait for some epic result. Well, I'm going to wait and share this. Like, I haven't gotten to my goal weight. No, share now. Share now. Oh, my God, the power of sharing. I mean, if you guys, did you see? Cassandra's before and transformation pictures and how many likes she got because she just hit the go button. It was incredible. I don't know if you guys saw this too, and I wish Amanda was on this call. Did you guys see her post today? This is why we coach right there. That is, that is a coachable post right there. And the reason why, and the reason why yours was a coachable post, Cassandra, and countless others is because do you see what coaching does? It healed her to open up and share a really scary thing. And it's like, and she told me today in the car, she was like, every time you bring up your dad's suicide, I'm always reminded of what I've done. So I was a trigger for her, right? And I don't know that. And I don't feel bad that I, I, cause I didn't know I was a trigger, right? I can't feel bad about that. But what I rejoice in is that those triggers made her do something different. And I don't like being called skinny. I hate it because when my dad left and I suffered greatly, I dropped so much weight so fast that I was embarrassed that my clothes were baggy. And you know how people were like, damn, I wish someone would call me skinny, right? 
I, 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 I didn't want that because it was for all the wrong reasons. And now, literally, I'm getting that again. Today, you're too skinny. I had a girl today at the shop say to me, a mother who's known me forever, and I quite frankly think it's the rudest thing on the planet, let that be known. Um, you're like too skinny. Are you sick? Are you sick? I said, I looked at her, I said, are you kidding me? And I was like, I'm the healthiest and the happiest I've ever been. I said, but I'm going to take that as a compliment. And then in the same breath, she said, you look fabulous. And I was like, what a bipolar statement that was. Like, it made no sense, right? It made no sense. But here's the thing. A week ago, somebody said that to me. You know what I did? I went in the kitchen and I ate chips because I felt like I wasn't worthy of that. You know what coaching gives me? I'm worthy. Do you guys happen to follow Kim and Jamie Fitzpatrick's on Insta Stories? If you don't follow Kim and Jamie Fitzpatrick's or watch some of their YouTube videos, they are the top coaches for Canada. I love them. And the reason why I love them is because they say every time somebody says no and every time somebody is down your throat, it drives them that much more to have the most amazing life possible and to put your blinders on and let the haters hate and inspire who you're going to inspire because some people are going to unfollow you some people are going to follow you but if you are if you're trying to post for others you're doing it backwards if you're taking people's posts that you see and copying and pasting or doing a reflection of another person's post you're not being authentic you have to be you you have to be you because guess what a lot of us don't know how to be ourselves, right? We're always trying to be somebody else's carbon copy. And we've probably been used to that since childhood. Now, your coaching careers is always about you, like Cassandra says. It's always about you. And then you purposely and publicly share it with pride. Raina Odell is another fabulous coach that I follow. She's a tattoo girl, shaved head. She battles Crohn's disease. She is inspiring as beyond belief. And what I love most is she gives it to you raw. And what she says is, coaches, if you want to rock your business, get over the fear. Get over it and get over it fast because it doesn't matter what somebody else thinks blinders on rock and roll. And I was like, Oh, it was hard to hear that. But you know what though? The more you pump that well, and the more you get more in touch with your why, like Cassandra said tonight, why should you be afraid? Why should we be afraid? Are you really, but you know what it is? Sometimes we're not afraid of rejection. We're afraid of success. Yep. We are afraid of success because you know why? We have been so used to sitting in the pocket of failure, like baby in the corner of dirty dancing, that that's where you feel like you belong. You know why you feel that way? It's because of time and your history. And it's a safety zone for you. It's all you know. It's your comfort spot, right? But what if you started taking those leaps of faith tonight and into tomorrow and started daring yourself to be better for you for your families, for your financial futures, and just to be a better person. That is the core of coaching. It is to break free of the lies and the safety nets that you don't need anymore. You don't need them. That was your eight-year-old, 10-year-old, 16-year-old self. And now the grown woman that sits on this call tonight and the grown woman that's gonna watch this playback tomorrow is going to be the one to set that person free. However old you are right now, I'm 38. I have to take care of the 22 year old that lost her father because she still lives in me. She still hurts. But with coaching, I can publicly share something as vulnerable as like Amanda did. And tonight I talked with her about it. She said, I don't care who likes it or who doesn't like it, it made me feel like I, I just, I healed a little bit. I said, that's what coaching is. 
that's what coaching is right there. That is the essence of it right there. Does that make sense when I say that, guys? Do you, does that click a little bit more? Does that make a little more sense? So you got to connect with all of those things that maybe you don't really want to talk about. But that's okay. Don't do it now. Would you do it when you're ready? Because that is the organic person that person needs on the other side of Facebook. You know, you don't have to even have some, I mean, like my story is big, right? Some people don't have a big story. Melanie Mitchell, the top coach, does not have a big story. But you know what she does and you know what all these coaches are doing? They're consistent. Consistent about inviting, even if it's five invites a day, you guys. They're consistent about those five invites. They're consistent about those five follow-ups. They're consistent about finding two to five new friends a day and making friends with them. They're consistent because you just start pumping the well, right? So you have to be consistent. When you're consistent and you're real and you're raw and you're authentic and you keep going, and you have to remember, we're a team. So if we, if you grow, if you grow, if you grow, then we all grow together and everybody benefits from it. it it's really a team effort, right? So Sydney, let's go to you. What is your why? Why do you coach? What made you turn to coaching? And I want you to not think about this answer. I want you to just give me the answer. I love it. I love putting people on the spot. This is my favorite part. <laughs> You're muted, baby. Unmute. There you go. I think for me, it would have to be just going out of my comfort zone because I've always stayed in my comfort zone mm -hmm. and yep. I felt that I felt a little bit confident <laughs> when I first started I'm mm -hmm. gonna be honest um there's days when I feel like when I look on my posts on Facebook and I see that not many people liked it or there could be people that didn't like it at all. It's kind of like a defeat in a way. And then I have to like reevaluate and I'm struggling with how to post and making it storytelling. Mm -hmm. Do I storytell or? I like your post, your posts are fine. Your po and, here and here's the coolest part. Yeah. Remember how we talked about coming up with themes and staying consistent about your themes? Guys, this is, I'm telling you, you don't have to rewrite or what's the thing, redo the wheel, whatever the saying is. I suck at those sayings. But it's like, I have five things that I just stick with, right? Remember we talked about that a couple of uh, um, coaching calls ago? Yeah. Mine are, God, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to forget the fifth one. Faith, or not faith, fashion, family, wellness. Darn it! Darn it! I always forget you guys. This is not horrible. I have it written down. I have it written down. Motivation, transformation, wellness, throwback, food, fashion, and mom life. Those are my things that I just stick with Monday through Sunday, right? So if you just stick to those things, then you can start telling a story. Now people go, well, I don't know. I don't have a story. I don't know what you, I don't know what you mean. Look right in front of you. This is where people get tricked up and they make it so complicated and it's so simple. Like it's so simple and I get tripped up in complications too, right? Who can relate to the mom that all she wants for me? Cause I'm a mom, right? What if I took a picture? You have to make sure the picture, and this is training. You have to keep doing things over time too, right? And you have to take inventory. So you need to say, okay, next week, my goal, for the, the first week of June is I'm going to, at, on Sunday, I'm going to go back to all of my posts. I'm going to look at the times. I'm going to look at how many people liked what and what the content was. And then I'm going to see if it was good or if it wasn't good. And then I'm going to reevaluate for next week. So like, remember we said everything is information. It is not, you suck. You're, that's a dumb post. Right. That's your old brain that has been wired since God knows how long. And so I feel they, like that's what's happening. Yes. And then that's where your well, personal development comes in. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. so true. And this is where your personal development comes in. 
your personal development comes in because that's what you have to work on personally. That has nothing to do with your coaching career. Right. Separate. Like when I have a hard time losing, like I've lost people from my coaching stuff, right? I could say, I suck at coaching. Maybe I shouldn't be coaching. And then I go, wait a minute. Oh my God. I have Cassandra. I have Sydney. I have Dominique. I have Kim. Like, like right. what am I thinking? That's my old self that doesn't think she's worthy. That's where you have to work on your personal development and you have to start believing that you are worthy. It has nothing. I want to tell you this, a post, a like, a number is a short term nothing. ego booster or ego booster. Yeah. That's all it is. Are you a number? You're not a number. You're not a number, but you are a businesswoman. So if you're a businesswoman, you're going to look at that and go, this is the information I need to build my business. So if this gonna, post isn't working and that time isn't working, then I got to refigure out a new plan. It's a lot. Entrepreneurs fail every day. Entrepreneurs fail the most because they don't ever stop. Now, if you want to find things that help you with on this topic, you need to go to YouTube. You need to type into YouTube and say, great posting for beach body or whatever. I mean, YouTube is your best friend. Study, figure it out. I am, guys, we are a team that we help each other, but we're not, we're not going to like, you got to figure it out, right? So your coach online office is your best friend. How many of you guys, let's be truthful here. Did you do your coach online office, taking the tour and getting started and knowing your office? Me, I've done it. Good, 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 good. Perfect. You need to keep doing that. How many of you with the show of hands listen to the national wake up call every week? Okay. Those are nuggets. Let me tell you why. This is cool. You want to hear why? Because <laughs> Sanders is like, no, no, not really. Um, so <laughs> you all should be part of Beachbody 411 page on Facebook, right? That's going to have, and Beachbody champions. You need to be, and that's Beachbody champions are all the champions that are giving away free advice, free trainings, free, 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 free. That's where you just go. You just schedule time for your business, for your, your business activity tracker. Do those every day. And then take a little time for training. Maybe you only have time for a five minute training. Go to the Beachbody Champion page and learn something. Go to YouTube, learn something that you need. So that's all you gotta do, right? You are self-paced, self-trained, right? So it's very important that you do do that. But the National Wake Up Call is once a week. You can go to Beachbody 411 page and literally watch it later. But set a time to watch it once a week because Monica Lopez was just on um, this week and I listened to her on Tuesday versus Monday. Oh my God. Awesome. Awesome. Awesome call. So many golden nuggets. These people who are at the top are showing you how they did it. So you can take their things and use it and try it. It might work for you. It might not, but you just have to, we have to play, but we can't give up. These people played and they didn't give up. And we are no different than these top coaches. It's just a matter of how bad do you want to get to your goal and what are you willing to do? You know, what is the chances you're going to take this month? What are you going to learn new? So let's go over that tonight right now. Let's, I think this is something we should do at the end of every month. I think this is important. And you guys should probably write this stuff down. If not after the call, write it down so you have that game plan for the whole month. Number one, let's go over what is, what is your success club goal for the month of June? What is your goal? And here's what I suggest. Go outrageous. Go outrageous. Don't, don't go, well, I'll help three people. Well, I've never been to six, sex club. So yeah. Did you say sex? Yeah. <laughs> success <laughs> club one. So, I mean, yeah. success club one would be great <laughs> if there's even a one. But yeah, um, well, you, get six, you get two points every success club. So two okay. points every person. So you're both of you guys are coaches, which is an amazing right. platform to be on. Your next goal is to get to Emerald. And in order to do that, you need two people. That's all you need. 
is two people, one on your left leg, one on your right leg. So if you don't know about your legs before you sign people up, you need to contact me so we don't mess this up. Otherwise, it doesn't unlock a gate for you. When you become Emerald, you have to hold that for six consecutive weeks. So then you can stay ranked as an Emerald. Now you may not get paid as an Emerald the whole time, but they rank you as Emerald and they give you recognition. They give you a, um, they mail you some, I can't even tell you, they mail you an ama amazing gift when you become an Emerald coach. And not only that though, it unlocks the door for team cycle bonuses, extra pay and a higher bracket. So it's really cool. It's a really cool platform to get to. So let's talk about June. What it, and it doesn't matter, but go for some, I really say go for outrageous. Go for something daring. My goal this month of June, I'm going balls to the wall. I'm going Success Club 20. That is 10 people that I've got to help in the month of June. I'm coming up with my game plan. I'm going to come up with some incentives. I'm going to come up with whatever it is, and I'm going to go hardcore on my posting. I'm going to rock some conversations. I have a goal in mind of 100, 100 conversations a week. 100 conversations a week is I'm going for it. So I'm breaking it all down to small chunks so I don't feel so overwhelmed. But I got to go for it because I want to come home to my kid. I want to come home to my kid like bad. So that's my goal. Now, I'm not saying when I say my goal, you don't have to match that. But what is your goal? You have to start somewhere. Where are we starting for the month of June? Ready, set, go. At least five people. Five people. That's awesome. That's two, four, six, eight, ten. So your goal, Sydney, you need to write it down, is my goal for the month of June is Success Club 10, which is five people because it's two times five. Now, the goal should be, and I strongly try this, you guys, every month you need to make your goal by the 15th of the month. Here's why, and I like this, because then you can relax. You can relax, and then you can enjoy, and you can work with those challengers, and then you can work more on your trainings, work more on conversations, and anybody else who kind of floods in, and you get a couple more, great. And if you don't, you can relax. You can relax and just enjoy that you did that and then plug them in, okay? I have a question. Yeah. So I've um, been inviting people here and there, and some people have gotten back to me and they say, you know, they're not ready or... So when is a good time to reevaluate with them, to give so, them enough time or let them come to you? It depends. It depends on the person. It depends on the flow of the conversation. You always just want to be their friend. You always just want to be their friend because we're not selling. We're right. offering opportunities. So while they say no, no just means not yet. Okay. And it may not be their season, but you planted a seed. So you have to always remember that when you get knocked down, it's like, it's okay. It's just not yet. It's just not yet. I literally, you guys had a woman who a year ago wanted to be in my challenge group and she probably just messaged me just now and I invited her. She, I do her hair. She came up to me while I did her hair and she's like, Cece, I was going to be part of your challenge group, but since you don't take shake, she doesn't want to do Shakeology and my, and my groups, you have to be on Shakeology at least for 30 days. That is a requirement for our groups, by the way, they have and this is the thing too. If they're like, but I can't, I, I can't do that or I don't want to do that. Like, Listen, I'll still support you, but in the group, to give you the results that I have, I have to require a minimum of 30 days so you can try what I'm doing so you can seek those same results. You have to set a standard for your group. You, you can't, if you're wishy-washy and you're going to accommodate to them, then your business is accommodating. That's not going to happen. So guess what this person did? I'm so sorry. I did made a huge mistake. I want you. She is. I want you to come. Can you, can I be back in your group? Of course, I'm going to invite her back, but I am going to tell her when I talk with her, I'm going to say my group requires Shakeology for at least 30 days. And in reality, it should be three months, but I want you to not feel locked in because I don't think you really see anything until three months, but they do get the first 30 days to try before their money is back. So I always give that as an offer. 
And I say, but for my group and for the results that I, because it's my name on the line, I have to have the group with Shakeology because I want you to, you deserve the results. And this is the results that I know how to give to you. Okay. So don't sell yourself short either, because look at, I mean, look at the amazing results Cassandra's had and Sydney you've had, and I've had all because of Shakeology. And if you're not posting about Shakeology, post about it. Cassandra, you're really good about um, like the whole crystals and meditations and everything. I think some really good posts for you, and it, threw, it made me think of you, is start looking at the ingredients of Shakeology that apply for your physical needs. Like for me, it's anxiety and depression sometimes. And specifically do a Shakeology post, like thank God for uh, ashwagandha root because it's helping me with my depression that I battle or whatever. And that's me because people will go, what the hell kind of, you can't afford all that. We need to start being more open about the Shakeology posts. Be specific why it's helping you. Right. But Sydney, um, I usually follow up within seven days after an invite. And if they say no, I'll just say, Hey, I'm kindly, you know, Hey girl, just wanted to um, follow up with you. My team is getting ready to kick off and launch. Um, let me know if you're in. And I always get a, a fake uh, deadline. I say, I got two spots left up until, let's say today's, today's the 31st. I have two spots left until June 1st. Totally let me know. We'd love to have you. You have to give them some type of urgency. If they don't have urgency, they're not going to get back to you. And a lot of times too, if you message them on Messenger, they may not have seen it. So don't rely. You have to go back into like their Facebook page and say, hey girl, I sent you a, um, a message on Messenger. Hope you can catch it. Question mark. How's your day? And then they'll go, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I didn't see it or whatever it is they say, you know? So you got to be really strategic in your invites. Um, but I would do that for sure. Um, so success club 10 for Sydney. All right, Cassandra, what are you shooting for love? The same. Okay. Which is Tom. Oh, 10, 10. Yeah. Yeah, baby. I love it. Okay. So I'm writing all of you guys down so we can get together so we're gonna be part of a a, a, a jackpot all right this is, a, this is a we're gonna do a challenge here and the other get their stuff okay okay um team bet the first person by the 15th to get to their goal is going to get a prize from me to you I'm not gonna tell you what it is but you're gonna love it it's gonna be amazing i'm a very good gift giver i'm very creative I'm very thoughtful and I'm very thoughtful of who the person is. So all I'm saying is this, the first person by the 15th to hit their goal of success club is going to get something to help their business. I'm really stoked about this gift too. So bust a move. So now let's talk about the plan. What we have five minutes left. Does everybody use their business activity trackers? Yes, no, maybe so. No, please Dear Lord, use them. I'm telling you, do you want, if you want, or, now let me ask you this. Are you consistent in what you're doing for your business right now? Or are you inconsistent? It's okay to answer yes or no. What if you don't know? Okay. I want everybody for the month of June to print out your business activity tracker. You need to print it out four times. Are you willing to do this this month? I'm going, this is, guys, this is how I help you get to success club. Listen, I'm telling you what I do and it works. You need to use your business activity tracker for the whole month of June. All right. So with that said, the business activity tracker, I literally have it on my printer. It just stays there. You have to add three minimum, three new people to your group every day to your network. You have to do this. Make this your goal. You have to invite at least three people. If you're afraid to invite to the coaching opportunity, then I want you to invite th six people to your challenge group. Okay. That's what we need to do. Now, if you know for a fact that each day you can do more than six invitations a day, what is your goal a day? How many invites do you want to do a day? Which means how many follow-ups can you do in a day? So let's talk about that really quickly. Number one, can you guys commit to the business activity tracker for the whole entire month of June? This does not mean working Monday through Sunday. What are your hours? Have you figured that out yet? Or are you just working when it's convenient? Set a business hour. 
it will keep you pumping your well in order so you don't get frazzled. You guys got to go back to Coach Basics. Coach Basics, it's so simple. Business hours. Maybe I'm going to work Monday, Wednesdays, and Saturdays because I know those are my off days and I can actually work my business, right? What are your hours? And then do the journal. Do the, the thing work. I got to go to work here. I got my kids events here. Okay. This is my beach body time. Do this activity tracker this month. And I'm going to tell you, you're going to see success club happen. You're going to see it happen. If you want that paycheck for Shakeology, this is your ticket in. Do this tracker and tell me that it doesn't work because it does work. Okay. So activity tracker every day for the whole entire month of June. How many invites do you think you can invite on your business hours, you gotta think about that and think about how many follow-ups you're gonna do and how many new conversations you're going to be having. New conversations can be with whoever, whoever. It's, hi, how are you? Great, you had a new conversation. Hey, love that dress. How was your weekend? That was another conversational starter. So just think basic, see how basic that is? It's just so simple. Just start a conversation. Think about how you came to me for Shakeology. That's how you start it too. Think about that. Think about how you came to me for a challenge pack. All of those things really count and really matter. So I think you guys are in a really great spot. I love the energy that you guys are going to give out this month. I want you guys to be, get super organized, super. If you're the more organized you are, the easier this business is and the more fun you have. So if you don't have a journal yet and you haven't gotten this out yet, go buy a cheapy one at the dollar store. Go print out four of these and just start. Start small, but just start because that way you practice consistency and then you build your rhythm. And as you build your rhythm, you build your business. So just have fun with it. And also you guys are killing it in the challenge groups and that is your bread and butter. So stay active in our challenge groups because that's where you're really going to get your meat and potatoes too. So remind yourselves of that. Okay. I hoped this helped. I hoped you found this a little in, in, in like enlightening and exciting. And tomorrow is June 1st. It's a new chapter. Wipe May clean, come out guns blazing, but be you. Be you. Show your crystals. Show your dreaming. Show, show your personal development. Show the world what you're doing and be proud of it. And anytime you need me, we're here. We have the best team in the house, but together we will do this, the greater we are. One doesn't work in a team, it's all of us. And I think we have an amazing team. All right, guys, have a wonderful night. Take great care, sweet dreams. I'll talk to you all later. Bye. Bye.